Tools and Technology, A Natural and Human History of Thresholds 3 to 8 by Jason Stevens. Before we can understand how tools became a huge part of humanity, we must first understand the natural history of our planet and the elements that compose it. Instead of starting at the beginning with the Big Bang, we'll skip 1 billion years to Threshold 3, the emergence of heavier elements with the death of our first stars. We know stars are made up of helium and hydrogen, but it's the death of a star, more specifically a high mass star, that is responsible for elements we now find on the periodic table and in our tools. As a high mass star runs out of helium, it begins to fuse carbon into heavier elements, including iron. Iron fills up the center of the star until it's eventually collapse, creating a massive explosion known as a supernova. The dust cloud that remains slowly drifts out into space with all the new elements we know today. Now that we understand how these elements are created, how do they form a planet and more specifically, Earth? Heavier elements spread less far than lighter elements such as helium and hydrogen. These heavy elements will form an orbit around a celestial body and crash together to create even larger celestial bodies through accretion. Our planet went through the same process, starting as a cloud of dust and eventually forming our Earth around 4.5 billion years ago, just after the birth of our sun and our fourth threshold. 90% of our planet is made up of elements that were created with the supernova that formed our galaxy. Over the next 500 million years, our planet cooled, was bombarded by meteorites containing water and other elements we know today. Eventually, from all this chaos, life emerged in its simplest form. Now, the building blocks were in place for evolution to take hold, and we can fast forward approximately 2.6 million years ago to the first known tools by early hominoids. An understanding of natural history is important when looking at the evolution of humans and technology. Technology began with the simplest of stone tools, anywhere from 2.6 to 3.3 million years ago. It is difficult to determine which hominoid species use specific tools due to many species existing at the same time, but the earliest tools are widely believed to be used by either Australopithecus or Homo habilis. Stone tools offer the best evidence of early humans as they are less susceptible to destruction than bones. The earliest tools also provide evidence of early tool makers and their skills, innovations, mental ability, and dexterity. Homo erectus may have been the ancestor of Homo sapiens to harness fire, as evidence of materials has been found in caves dating back 1 to 1.5 million years ago. Technology would rapidly evolve as its threshold 5, life on Earth, made way for cliff learning and agriculture, threshold 6 and 7. From 200,000 years ago to 3000 BCE, collective learning paved the way for important technologies to appear. Clay was used for bricks and pottery, fabrics were woven to make clothing, and the wheel was invented. In 6000 BCE, irrigation arose, which is complex and requires a high level of social organization and collective learning. Humans also began to migrate as populations rose. This led to knowledge, wisdom, skills, and tools migrating with these groups. This mass migration period connected all four world zones, including their people, flora, and fauna. The population of civilizations continued to grow and migration became more difficult, so humans turned to agriculture instead of foraging for food. The rise of agriculture would lead to even more technological innovations, helping humans to survive, but it would also see tools and technology used for destruction of life and our planet. From 400 BCE to approximately 1500 CE, many civilizations grew, rose, conquered, and fell. During this time, there were many conflicts between civilizations as they, as they vied for more land, resources, and wealth. In 1200 BCE, bronze gave way to iron, which is more abundant than copper and tin, the elements that make up bronze. The first sailing ships were used to connect continents and further spread knowledge to new civilizations. Gunpowder was invented in China in 850 CE and spread to Europe in the 13th century. Technological advancements were made in math and astronomy, allowing for exploration to even their locations. Printing was also invented during this period, which aided in the recording and rapid distribution of the information. Finally, in the 16th century, the world became globally connected with the discovery of the Americas. With exploration and innovation, 
humans began collecting a vast knowledge of technology, including new weapons and sources of power. Humans were no longer being shaped by natural history alone. They now harnessed harness this new power and led to the modern revolution known as Threshold Number 8. In the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution was born, leading to drastic changes to planet Earth. Humanity's domination over the planet became more evident and began Threshold 8, the modern revolution. Paul Krusen, a Nobel-winning Dutch chemist, proposed calling this new geological epoch the Anthropocene. Fossil fuels such as coal were the future of innovation and this power led to electricity. Steam engines allowed ships and trains quicker and easier access to the globe. Coal would be used to heat and power technology. Fuels such as oil and gasoline allowed for further innovation. Internal combustion engines, flight, rocketry, radio, television, and even the computer in its most primitive state were all products of the Industrial Revolution. Although our civilization was propelling faster and faster with each innovation, we would soon see the damage our evolution made to the planet when nuclear power was harnessed in 1942. We have seen how natural history shaped human history from thresholds one to seven. The Big Bang gave way to life, which then gave way to evolution, exploration, and collective learning. Innovation has driven humanity for millions of years and advancements in technology has increased immensely in such a short period of time. In 1942, nuclear energy was harnessed and the nuclear age was born. Humanity's impact on the world became evident with the Manhattan Project and the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. Over the next 74 years, technology continued to advance and humanity started to understand the effects innovation had on the planet. Climate change, air and water pollution, and nuclear fallout are not naturally occurring, but rather the result of humanity's drive for power and innovation. Technology has afforded us many great inventions, but we are so driven by innovation, we have become blind to the cost. We have not reached a ninth threshold, or maybe we have, and future generations will learn from our creations, but more importantly, our failures. Will the ninth threshold be nuclear power? artificial intelligence, or another human innovation similar to the Industrial Revolution? Will it be the result of human innovation, such as climate change, disease, or war? Or maybe nature will be responsible for Threshold 9 and shape our future just like it has done for millions of years.